Mario RPGs were kind of in a sour spot. Mario and Luigi was kind of disappearing, and Paper Mario was going down a path that a lot of people did not want to see it go down. And it looked like there was not going to be anything else as far as original Mario RPGs, as we haven't had anything since the SNES version of Super Mario RPG. But then Nintendo kind of turned everything around, and started giving fans pretty much exactly what we wanted. They not only remade Mario RPG, but is completely remaking Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, a Mario RPG that many people will consider to be one of the best if not the best, which is an incredible time to be a Mario RPG fan. Both of these games, especially the Thousand Year Door coming back, just feels like a dream, and the fact that they were both kind of revealed around the same time and releasing close to each other is kind of crazy. But with all this Mario RPG goodness, it does make a part of me sad. As a huge Mario RPG fan that has played every single game, even the Mario Rabbids games, and yes, Sticker Star. But as I love all the Paper Marios and even Mario RPG now, I have to say Mario and Luigi was still one of my favorite parts about these Mario RPGs. And it's sad to say that we might not see them again. At least it's been so long since we have. So if you guys weren't familiar, Alpha Dream, the company behind Mario and Luigi, actually went bankrupt on October 1st of 2019, which was just over four years ago. And I can't believe it's been that long. It doesn't even feel like it since I saw that, you know, announcement that they were actually filing for bankruptcy. So obviously Mario and Luigi kind of died after that, simply due to the fact of the two remakes they made from Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story really didn't do that well. I mean, it's just kind of sad that they never got the chance to prove themselves with a bigger project outside of a handheld console. Starting off on the Game Boy and then moving on to the DS and even the 3DS family of systems, but yeah, that's really about it. And it sucks they haven't got their hand into a home console like the GameCube, the Wii, the Wii U, or even the Nintendo Switch. And it really didn't help that they made two remakes back to back, with Superstar Saga coming over to the 3DS from the Game Boy, which isn't terrible, but then Moving a DS game over to the 3DS was a kind of weird play. I don't know if a lot of us even wanted to see Bowser's Inside Story on the 3DS. It was already a beloved game and I already thought it looked pretty good. It was just a weird decision by Nintendo instead of making a brand new one, they decided to do the same thing over again, making two remakes that were just very underwhelming. You throw in their last original brand new game with Mario & Luigi Paper Jam, which kind of took inspiration from Paper Mario Sticker Star of all sorts and kind of babyfied the formula and made every enemy just a regular Mario enemy, a regular Mario boss, and just kind of kept it very simple compared to what we were used to in Mario & Luigi with all the original locations and characters it felt kind of bland. I guess the question right now is, is there any hope for Mario and Luigi? Are we going to see Mario and Luigi ever again? Did Nintendo revive Alpha Dream by hiring them officially? Is there a separate team working on new Mario & Luigi games? Will we ever see Mario & Luigi again? Is Nintendo just going to move forward with regular Mario RPG games like the first one on the SNES? It's really hard to say. And I'm telling you, I would be very sad if we didn't get another Mario & Luigi. Mario & Luigi was special. It had something about it that just felt different than most RPGs. You had more character control. You could move Mario & Luigi, complete bro moves, and solve puzzles with these moves, and do stuff together that you could couldn't do in most RPGs. In my eyes, you had some of the best and original combat for a Mario RPG or an RPG in general. It was actually so unique. It wasn't just you pressing a button on the screen to let your character perform that move, or you even having timed button sequences. It was more along the lines of you actually playing the game. Everything that you did in battle correlated to how you competed. You didn't have to be an extremely high level to take out every enemy or boss. You just had to be good at knowing how to jump at the right time, swing your hammer at the right time, and also attack the enemies in the same way. Definitely a different approach to RPGs, but it just made it feel more Mario-fied. I can't really explain it, but man, it's just such a better option, at least for people like me who aren't really huge on traditional RPGs. It kind of gave me a way out, if you will, and a different approach to what RPGs could be. And I love this, especially considering the fact that there was just lots more overworld exploration and puzzles and things to do in the actual game. I actually really enjoyed this aspect. I'm telling you right now, to see Mario & Luigi in full HD and on a home console experience that the game is just a lot bigger, longer, and just more depth to it, 
Oh my goodness, it would make me so happy as a fanboy. I mean, seriously. And there's so many ideas that were left untapped with the whole Mario and Luigi duo thing. They could have added so many new characters or maybe characters that we've already had, like having Mario and Luigi team up with the princesses, with Peach and Daisy, or maybe even Rosalina would have been really cool. Or Wario and Waluigi teaming up with Mario and Luigi would have been really cool to see as well. There's just so many things they could have done. I mean, shoot, if they're going to throw Paper Mario into the series, why not throw in one of the Wario Waluigi bros or maybe even the princesses. I mean shoot, could you imagine if Bowser and Bowser Jr. teamed up with Mario and Luigi? It would be so cool. But if they ever do come back, I feel like it doesn't need to be a remake. Well actually, I know it doesn't need to be a remake. We don't need any more remakes. I mean the entire series in a whole has actually been really really good, except for maybe Paper Jam, which isn't even bad. The problem with Paper Jam is it just loses its originality, which seems like maybe Nintendo is bringing back a lot more. Look at Mario RPG with all of its original toads and characters and enemies, and then obviously Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door coming back is another great sign as well. So I don't think that is really going to be a problem. Just make a new one. Make the worlds bigger, brighter, and better graphics for a home console experience, and you just make the game longer than a traditional 3DS game. The question is, does Nintendo just have all these IPs under their belt now? I mean, look at how many Mario RPGs they're going to have. If you are bringing back Mario RPG, the traditional style like the original Mario RPG, that's one, then you got Paper Mario, and then you got Mario Rabbids now, which is more of a tactical grid-based strategy RPG, that's three. You throw in Mario and Luigi, that's four Mario RPGs that they could cycle through. And look, I have no problem with it. I, I love Mario RPGs, so to get like one every single year, whether it's Paper Mario, original RPG formula, Mario and Luigi, or even Mario Rabbids, I'm fine with that completely. They all play so differently. Even the overworld gameplay exploration, the puzzles, and even the combat, it's just four completely different types of games. I'd love it. As somebody who's never played Mario RPG, I was so glad to finally get my chance to do so on the Switch, and I absolutely love this game. It just continues to say that Mario RPGs are so much fun, at least for me, and I enjoy every single one of them in their own unique ways. Yes, even Sticker Star. So I'm hoping within the next couple of years, Mario and Luigi can still get revived. I really hope something happens, whether Nintendo hires a new development team or Alpha Dream does come back and something happens with the development process, I don't know, but whatever it takes, show us Mario and Luigi on a home console experience. I mean, man, I would just die happy to see that. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about Mario and Luigi. Which game is your favorite in the series and how bad would you want to see a brand new title on a home console like the Switch or even the next Switch console? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you go if you love Mario and Luigi. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.